Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We've made it. It is Memorial Day weekend. And I hope if you're working at home right now that you take a break and do a little workout with us just to get you pumped up and ready for the long weekend. Maybe you're going to have some treats with your family during a backyard barbecue or something like that. Well, this is a way um, to just get your appetite up and get a good workout in this Friday morning. Every Friday uh, during the past few weeks when we've had these stay-at-home orders and we have a different workout that you can do from the comfort of your own home because I move further into phase two across California and Kern County. Fitness studios and gyms are still closed. So a lot of people have been struggling to find a way to work out because they need it for both their physical health and their mental well-being. That's one of the biggest things for me, being home with three kids right now, um, trying to do their schoolwork and uh, my own work. I just feel incredibly stressed. Not alone by any means. So this is so important for our mental health. Um, and it's also a great way to highlight some local gyms because we know that they are struggling like so many local small businesses are right now because they've had to shut down. A lot of them are moving online and doing their virtual workouts, but it's been a big adjustment for so many. So we want to highlight these different gyms and we want to maybe show you a workout that you haven't tried before and support these local businesses. Maybe once they open back up, you'll go try them out. I'm going to open my window right now. I don't know about you. It's beautiful up here in Tehachapi, so I'm going to pop these open. It's like 65, so I want some fresh air while we're working out. Maybe you can do the same thing. The only thing you're going to need today is a mat. We are working out with Elite Fitness Center. Owner Eric Weatherly is going to join us. He's got a killer workout for us. He actually sent me over the list of exercises we will be doing um, and you're going to work up a sweat. I should have grabbed a towel. I may have one of my kids grab me a towel real fast. Um, Jason he is going to be demonstrating for us as Eric kind of leads us through this workout. It's only 20 minutes. You can do this. You've got 20 minutes to spare. I promise you won't regret it. You're going to feel so much better after you do. So grab your mat. That's all we need. And Eric's got a great workout for us. Eric, <laughs> here's my towel. Thanks, Eli. Eric, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. I appreciate it. My son just brought me a towel, so I'm good to go. I'm ready. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Take it away, Eric. All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Eric. This here is Jason. He's one of our coaches as well as a class instructor. So we do the one-on-one -on -one training and the personal training here and group classes as well. So he's going to be demonstrating everything that I'm saying. So this is a high-intensity style workout. Uh, with that, everything is moving. We're going to be moving the whole time. The biggest thing I'm going to focus on, and while I'm going to be saying a lot of, is that you need to focus on your breathing. Because if you don't breathe, you can't do the exercise. Uh, with everything that we are going to be saying, there's also a modification that can be done. So if you find yourself not being able to do the exercise that I've said, there's a modification that I will say and Jason will explain and display as we're going along. Okay, so get warmed up. This is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to start with what's called inchworms. All right, so we're going to go legs wide, outside shoulder width. We're going to go hands straight down to the ground. Walk them all the way out into a push-up position. Drop your hips down and then walking your hands all the way back up, keeping your legs straight. So this kind of just stretches everything out and gets everything nice and warm. So we're going to do 30 seconds on this one. So walking all the way up, keep going all the way. Stretch them out. Walk it back in. Good. So you want to focus here on trying to feel your legs stretch out, your hamstrings, your lower back. And then as you walk them out, try to squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your arms, keep your abs tight, kind of wake everything up. And stand it all back up. We got 10 more seconds on this one. All the way down. Good. And all the way up. Good. From here, we're going to go into a reverse lunge. So we're going to go hands on your hips. Chest stays up tall. Big step backwards. Good. So as you come down and you come back up, you're trying to flex the right glute. Now going all the way down, squeeze the back of your left glute. So all the way down, big long stretch and squeezing it in. Good. So we're just trying to keep your chest up tall. You can rest your knee on the ground if you like to. I'm not a fan of resting your knees on the ground just because personally I have a lot of knee issues. So I try to keep my knees off the ground and I just try to focus on flexing my hips and stretching everything out. Last one. Good. All right. Now we're going to go into push-up position. So we're going to go back all the way down. We're going to hand shoulder width apart. Shoulders are under or over the top of your wrist. We're going to go jumping jack. So from here, you're going to jump your feet out wide. And jump them back together, staying in that push-up position. You can call it a plank jack or a jumping jack, whichever you'd like. We're doing 30 seconds on this one. Abs stay tight. Focus on your breathing. Good. Just keep breathing. Everything goes out. 
Last 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good. From here, we're going to drop down into a regular old-fashioned plank. So elbows and toes. So plank, anybody that can do a nine-hour plank is impressive, but that's not the way we want to do planks. Okay, so when we do a plank, we're trying to focus on squeezing your belly button up into your spine. Your legs need to be flexed. Your shoulders need to be flexed. Your arms need to be flexed. You need to squeeze every single, single thing you possibly can as hard as you can to make this the worst 30 seconds of your life. Okay, so you want to squeeze everything. Keep holding. Ten more seconds. Ten, nine, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. All right, stand it up. All right, so... In our rest phase, we're going to be jogging in place. So right now, I want everybody to start kind of jogging in place, trying to keep it loose while I explain our next round, okay? Round one is going to be 45 seconds of every single exercise that we say, okay? So we're going to go 45 seconds per each exercise. At the end of that round, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to be jogging in place for 30 seconds, and then we're going to go into round two. We have three separate rounds. The third round is just some abs, so it'll be really quick and somewhat painless, okay? So, all right, all right, round one, ready? Here we go air <laughs> squat, legs wide, shoulder width apart. Dropping your butt down, chest stays up. 45 seconds on this one. Going down, squeeze it up. Okay, so the focus on a squat. You want to keep your chest pointing forward as much as you can. As you go down, you want to flex your butt as hard as you can on the bottom so that your butt is essentially standing you back up. If you squeeze your butt so hard, it's going to be standing you up. You don't want to feel this in your knees. I know that everybody feels these in your knees, but especially when you're still trying to warm up. But the purpose of this is to open up your hips, flex your butt on the bottom, squeeze it up. Abs stay tight. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. You're trying to blow yourself up out of the bottom of this squat by squeezing your butt and flexing everything along the way. Squeeze. Ten seconds. A little less. Six, five, four, three, two, and good. Okay, from here we're going into a side lunge. So we're going to do one leg at a time. We're going to start with the right leg first, dropping down just as Jason's doing here. Good. Keep that right leg out there. We're going to stand with the right. Right leg first. Right leg at a time. There you go. Drop it down. Stand it up. Good. The reason I like to focus on one side is normally it takes a couple times before you feel that motion. Just keep that leg out there. Good. And stand it up. Good. And then right back down into it. So as we keep on this side, we're really able to engage that right glute, the right hamstring, and the outside of your quad. So you're going to go all the way down. Squeeze it up. Good. Same thing. This is all about hip mobility and breathing and controlling your breathing. As you drop down, exhale on the way up. Squeeze. Good. Keep your chest up tall. Five, four, three, two, one. And good. Now into the left leg. Keeping your stance wide. Pushing your butt back to the side, out behind you. Good. Try not to let your knees go outside your toes. Good. Squeeze them down. Same thing. Abs stay tight. Try to keep your head up. Do not let your chin tuck to your chest no matter what you do. You want to think that there's a two by four taped from your backside up to your top of your head, right? So you want to keep everything as straight as you possibly can. Letting your hips and your glutes do the motion, not your lower back. 15 seconds. Squeeze them out. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good. All right. So from here, we're going to drop down onto your mats. We're going to go push-ups. Old-fashioned, good old push-ups. Okay. So we're going 45 seconds. Ready and go. Okay, so we're going to drop down. A number one push-up is you do not want your elbows out to the side of your body. You want to keep them tucked and tight to your body. If they're out to the side, you're going to hurt your shoulders and doing more shoulder work. And so you want these ones, you want to keep them in close to your side. Okay, so Jason's going to show a modification here for me. So if you can't do a full-on push-up, you're going to drop all the way down to the floor onto your knees and roll your body up. There you go. Good. So, okay, so we're going to roll, drop all the way down and just roll your body back up. It's an easy way to learn how to get the strength and the motion of a push-up if you can't do the full one. And then, of course, if you need to be on your knees, as you get tired, I'm sure through 45 seconds, you just drop to your knees, keep your chest up. Good. Just push them up and down. Abs stay tight. If you want to keep everything flexed, squeezing it up. Five, four, three, two. Good. All right. We're going to stay on the floor for this one. Now we're going to go into Superman. So you're going to lay on your belly, hands up over your head, feet out straight. I like to make fists with your thumbs up over your head. Your thumbs up on there. You go facing up. Okay. So from here, you want to raise everything up off the ground that you possibly can. Okay. So 45 seconds, go. Squeezing it up, and we're just going to go up and down. Do not try to go up and hold this one. So you're going to flex everything from your calf, your hamstrings, your glutes, your back, your shoulders, everything you can possibly squeeze. We're raising it up as high as you can. 
squeeze. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of modifications for this one, so just go at your pace for 45 seconds. You do not want to feel this in your lower back. If anything, you want to feel this in your backside as much as you can and a lot of your shoulders and your traps in the, down the middle of your back. This is a good mobility exercise and stabilization exercise for your shoulders as well. Hamstring. A lot of us don't back, have much shoulder mobility because we live in a world where we keep things between our shoulders and hips. So when you have to force them over your head, this really opens them up for us. Five, four, three, two, and good. All right, so we're going to go into a Spider-Man push-up. So staying on the ground. This one, what Jason will demonstrate is a Spider-Man push-up for me, right? Everybody's feeling this one. So as you go down, you're going to bring that knee up to your elbow, and then you're going to drop down and switch. So the modification for this one, if you can't do the push-up, you're just going to hold the plank position. So you're going to bring your knee up to your elbow, and then out and switch. Don't go down to the push-up. Just bring it out and switch it. Good. So on this exercise, we're just going to focus on the breathing, focus on squeezing your obliques and your abs. And obviously, your arms and shoulders are pretty tight and tired at this point. So you're just trying to hold them and keep them and let the shake happen. We're trying to shake the hell out of them right now. So just squeeze them and wake them up. 20 seconds. Good. Focus on the breathing. Yep, here come the arm shakes. Good. Squeeze. These high-intensity workouts, there is no such thing as an easy one. So anybody that's struggling right now, embrace it. Five, four, three, two. Good. All right. Stay in there. Now we're going to burpees. Everybody loves burpees. So burpees oh, yeah. on this one, we're going to drop down. Do a push-up if you can. If you can't do the push-up, then you just jump your feet back, jump it up, and stand up straight. You don't need to do the hop at the top, and you do not need to do the push-up. So do the one without my variations on this one. So just drop down, jump your feet out, jump your feet in, stand it up. Okay? Don't worry about the jump. Just jump on this one. Okay? So we're just going this one all the way down. Go. 45 seconds. Good. We only got about 30 seconds left. Squeeze them out. Perfect. So this is the modified, modified version of it. No push-up, no jump at the top. We're just focusing on your hips and your motion. Good. Keep breathing. Good. Abs stay tight. Let the sweat happen. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and down. Good. All right. So now we're going to lay on our back. We're going to do a couple ab exercises. So we're going to go on your back. We're going to do what's called a reverse crunch. You're going to go legs out straight, palms down under your butt. Laying your head down flat, you're going to round your knees, you're going to tuck yourself into a tight little ball. Good, and then you're going to kick your legs back out. If you need to rest your legs on the ground at the bottom, you absolutely can. But if you want to try to keep your feet off the ground as much as you can. Okay, so we're going to round them in, tuck it in, good, and then go back out. The focus on this one is you're trying to squeeze your lower, lower abs on this one, right around your belly button. You're trying not to let your hips do the work. You want to feel your abs. Abs are a very mental exercise, a very mental muscle, especially on something where you have long legs attached to them. So you're just trying to squeeze them in. 20 more seconds. Tuck yourself into a tight ball. Get in there. Tighten them up. Tighten them up. There we go. 15 seconds. Squeeze. Good. Nice and tight. Keep everything tight. Focus on your breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, good. Legs straight up in the air. Now we're going to go do toe touch. This is our last ab, ex ab exercise for the round. We're just going to crunch up and touch your toes. Good. And hands go up overhead. Get a little momentum if you need to. Good. And then come in and go. Good. So if you can't, if you can't keep your knee legs straight, feel free to just drop your knees to keep your drop your heels to keep your knees up, and just crunch up towards the ceiling. Good. You want to pull your belly button in tight, trying to flex your abs. Find them. Squeeze them. We got thirty more seconds. A little less. Squeeze them up. Good. So the big one is finding the rhythm and just breathe through it. Right. 12 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good. All right. Stand them up. We got one more cardio exercise. Then we're going to do a little one-minute break. This one we're going to do is called skaters, okay? So this one requires a little bit of coordination and a little bit of balance. Now, if you can't do that, then just do the steps and do the motions, okay? So we're going to start with your standing on your right foot. Your left hand is going to go down to your left foot or to your right foot, and then you're going to hop back and forth, touching it with the opposite hand, okay? We're going 30 seconds on this one, just hopping back and forth. If you can't do the hop and land it, just do the step. Right now, legs are pretty tired, arms are pretty tired. So just do the step. 
We're trying to get a little coordination. Shake the blood around. There you go. Just do the step. Perfect. 15 seconds. Squeeze seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. All right, one minute break. During this break, grab your water, <laughs> wipe your face off, whatever you got to do. I like what's called active rest. So you don't want to sit here and just suck wind while you're sitting here and waiting for round two to start. So I like to jog in place. Just keep everything nice and warm. Keep your body moving. Jog in place for just 60 seconds. Breathe it out. Try to get your heart rate back down a little bit. How you feeling, Jason? <laughs> Perfect. All right, 30 more seconds, and we're going to get round two going. So what to expect in round two? We're going to do some sumo squats, some jump squats, some side planks, some more cardio. And get everything warmed up. All right, ready. So we're going to garden to round two with this one. We're going to start with sumo squat. Sumo squat is a, a legs out wide outside your shoulders, toes slightly turned out, a little less toe turn. Good. Where your toes, your big toe points, your knees have to follow through, right? So if you're pointing out super wide like a ballet dancer, your knees are never going to go that direction in a squat. So you want to turn them in just a touch. You're going to squat down low, stretching out your hips and your groin. Try to keep your chest up as much as you can. And you're going to flex your butt on the bottom, right? And then squeeze it up. This is not necessarily a very deep squat. We're just trying to open up your hips and try to get more glute activation out of your backside so we can really wake it up and squeeze it out. Squeeze. Good. So we're back to our 45 seconds on every exercise. we got about 30 seconds left. Squeeze them up. Good. Remember, big one on this is ex inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up, focusing on your breathing, keeping your abs tight, trying to squeeze it all in. 12 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good. All right, so now we're going to go into a jump squat. If you don't want to do the jump squat, you're just going to do a regular oh. squat. Don't worry about the jumping part. I know it's hard and impactful. Okay, so let's start with the jump squat. We're going to go up and down. So the biggest one on a jump squat is you're going to let your hips and your glutes absorb the shock. Don't just land like a thud of like a sack of potatoes, right? You want to absorb it as you go down and explode on the way up. At least try these for 10 to 15 seconds just to see how it feels. And obviously, as we progress, just drop to a normal squat. But try to feel focus on not just landing and going all the impact and shock to your knees. Try to feel it through your hips, through your glutes, explode up through your legs. 15 seconds. Good. Last 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good. All right, so now we're going to go into a side plank. We're going to go on your forearm and your feet on your side. We're going to stack your feet on top of each other. So side planks are difficult for a lot of people. I get that one. So what we're going to do for a modification is that if you need help, we're going to make a fist with this other hand. You're going to put that into the ground. That gives you a little bit of extra balance and stability. If you don't need that, we're just going to hold the plank and you're going to raise this leg on its own top. You're going to raise it up and you're going to raise it up as high as you can and then right back down and close it. Belly button stays pulled tight. Keep going up and down. Good. Keep going. Good. So like I said, as I showed the modification, as this goes on and you start feeling fatigued, drop the leg, drop the fist. You want to keep yourself up off the ground as long as you can. That's the goal. Not necessarily to finish it this whole way, but you want to start this way. Squeeze it. 20 seconds. Good. Yep. Now just make that fist and hold it. Good. Good. You want to make sure your belly button's pulled in tight to your spine. You're really trying to feel that bottom side. You want to squeeze that as hard as you can. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good. We're going to switch sides. All right, 45 seconds, ready, and go all the way up. Good. Keep everything nice and high. Abs stay tight, focusing on your breathing. Good. Good. All right, last 30 seconds. Do the modification. Yep, just hold it right there. Just squeeze. Belly button stays pulled in. 
Don't let your shoulders and your hips do all the work. Find your abs on this one. Belly button stays pulled in tight. No matter what, if you just feel like you're sucking in your stomach, your abs are working. So just suck it in hard. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax it. All right. So from here, we're going into a mountain climber. Oh, baby. <laughs> Push up position. Ready? And do it. So we're going to jog your leg in back and forth. Now, again, this is a very intense exercise. So if you cannot do this one, you're not going to do a jogging style. You're just going to pull one leg in at a time, nice and controlled, focusing on your breathing, trying to get your heart rate under control because your heart rate is controlled by how much you breathe. So focus on your breathing. Keep your abs pulled tight. Try to keep your chin up off your chest and just keep everything neutral and controlled. Good. 20 seconds. Squeeze, squeeze it through, abs stay tight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. All right, now you're going to lay on your back, flipping it over. We're going to go to a single leg glute bridge, okay? So we can do both legs at the same time all the time, which a lot of people do, which is fine if you're using some weight and resistance. When it comes to your own body weight, though, a single leg is definitely going to get your butt a little bit better activation than a double leg. Okay, so we're going to start laying like this. You're going to start with your left leg. So you're going to keep your left knee bent. From here, you want to raise your right leg just so it's straight. And you want to keep your knees even while we're doing this. Okay, from here, he's going to push his body up off the ground using only his left butt cheek. Then all the way down and do it again. We're just going 30 seconds on each leg on this one. Good. You want to try to get your hips up as high as you can. Keep your head flat on the floor. Focus on your breathing. Good. So this is where we have a lot of imbalances. Just as everyday people, we walk around, we do our thing. If you don't have a strong and flexible hip and butt act area, then you're in. If you slip off of a curb, you're very likely to get hurt, right? So single leg stuff like this helps us really enable ourselves to be secure and safe just through everyday activities. Five, four, three, two, switch legs. All right. Now we're going to go to the right leg. Push it up. Good. So now your right cheek should be doing all the work for the next 30 seconds. Squeeze it up. Good. Nice and controlled. This is not a fast exercise. This is a slow and controlled. You want to try and flex that butt cheek from the bottom all the way to the top, as weird as that sounds. All right. So that's a muscle that has a very large flex area. So you're just trying to squeeze it and find control in it. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and good. All right. Stand it up. We're going to go into active rest. All right. So that was the end of round two. Breathe it out for a minute. 60 seconds. Do what you got to do. Get your water. Clean up your mat because I'm sure it's sweaty like Jason's is. <laughs> high intensity will get you going. So the purpose of a high intensity exercise is always just because it's going to burn up fat a heck of a lot faster than just walking on a treadmill or taking for a walk outside. And you burn twice as much in 20 minutes. So it's a very fast exercise. Now, the reason I like to talk about the muscle control and controlling your body and flexing certain, for the certain parts of you while you're doing things is that also activates a lot of muscle recruitment which means you're going to burn a lot more calories and you're also going to get to shape your body a little bit because none of us have access to weights right now. So this lets you learn how to shape it, flex it, squeeze it, so you're getting a lot more out of your exercise than you would if you were just going through the motions from A to B. Okay? All right. Round three coming up. Ready? We're going to start with just good old-fashioned planks. 45 seconds on this one. Drop it down. Here we go. So on a plank, as I said in the warm-up, there should not be any one-minute, two-minute, three-minute planks. We are trying to squeeze your body as hard as you can. So when I say muscle groups during the next 45 seconds, I want you to squeeze them, okay? So right now, I want you to flex your butt. There you go. Squeeze it. You're trying to mentally find it and flex it. Okay, relax your butt. Flex your biceps. Flex them because they should be in a bent position. should be fairly easy to squeeze right now. Squeeze. Squeeze them. Good. Relax your biceps. Flex your quads. Flex your legs. They're straight. Should be pretty easy to flex. Squeeze them. Five, four, three, two, and good. All right. Relax that. Flip it over. Drop down to your back. We're going to do swim kicks. We're going to go legs out straight, palms down under your butt. We're going to do small kicks. We're going to go 45 seconds. We're going to start this with small kicks. Good. Up and down. Good. Try to keep your feet up off the floor. If you need to rest your feet on the floor in between, by all means, you can. 
Good. You want to keep yourself at just about 45 degree angle, a little bit less for these smaller kicks. So when I say big kick, we're going to go into really big kicks like a cabaret dancer, right? So now we're going to go big, big kicks. Open them up. Good. Squeeze. Same deal. Your abs are probably going to start getting tight. So you don't want to try not to feel it in your hips. You want to keep your abs engaged. Small kicks back to small. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good. All right, rest for five seconds. We're going to get what's called scissor kicks. With these ones, you're going to stay in the same position that you're in. Open your legs up wide, cross them over each other, open them back wide, switch it back by crossing them over again. Ready? And go. 45 seconds. Good. So on this one, we're focusing on your hips and still your abs. So keeping your feet elevated is going to always make your abs work. Try to find it and keep it in your abs. Do not let your quads and hips do the work. Good. Over and under. Squeeze them. Forty-five seconds. Keep going. We got thirty seconds left. Good. Find your breathing. Last twenty. Good. Ab stay tight. Find your focus. Control it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and good. All right, same deal. Breathe for five seconds. We got one more, and then we've got a little bit of stretching to do, and then we're done with this. All right, we're going to do windshield wipers. So Jason's going to demonstrate the full one, and then we'll demonstrate a modified version. So a windshield wiper, we're going to go, yep, arms out to the side, legs up in the air. Good. You want to be as straight up and down as you can. So with the normal version, we're going to go side to side, squeezing them back up. Now, obviously, this may be very difficult at this point for a lot of people, no matter how fit you are. Just ask Jason. So normally what we'll do is we'll just bend the knees, we'll drop the heels down to your butt, and do the same motion. Dropping them over, roll it back up, and back over. Okay, so keeping your abs tight. Good. You want to feel these in your obliques, which are the sides. The obliques are great for help shape your waist. Back over. 15 seconds. Good. Find it. Nice controlled. Keep breathing. 10, 9, Eight, seven, strong finish. Six, five, four, three, two, and relax it. All right, you may now rest in peace for a few minutes, and then we're going to do some stretching real quick. So stand it up. So that was the end of all three rounds. How did everybody do so far? I hope everybody made it through it. How are you feeling, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Good job. All right, so shake it out. Get everything loose. We're going to see you do a couple stretches for you real quick. So let's go a straight leg stretch. Go feet shoulder width apart. We're just going to go straight down. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. It sounds like we may have lost... Um, Eric over at, I'm sorry, I'm breathing so hard because that was such a great workout. We lost Eric over at Elite Fitness, but hey, at least he got us all the way through our workout. Uh, from here on, he just wanted us to do a little stretch. So he had us down here doing a little toe touch. Yeah, let's do a little downward dog too. This is one of my favorites. Let's see, just kind of stretch out the back of those legs. Oh, and your arms too. That feels good on the shoulders. Okay, stand it up. Shake your arms out a little bit, too, because he had us in a lot of push-up positions there. Uh, I hope you guys got a great workout in. I know I did. I am sweating pretty profusely. I'm really glad Eli brought me this towel here. It's actually not a towel. It's a Swiffer pad, but hey, it does the job. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us for Fitness Friday. We're trying to bring you a different workout that you can do uh, from your own home with us every Friday. 11 a.m. on our KGET Facebook page. Today we were uh, pushed to the limit, I would say, by Elite Fitness Center. Eric Weatherly, the owner there, gave us a great workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. They're located over on Fruitvale and Maney when they open back up. As we mentioned, gyms and fitness centers still closed right now. Um, so we're trying to give them a little love by featuring a different one every Friday and also give ourselves, our bodies, and our minds a little bit of love just by doing a little workout together. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you have a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe. Happy Friday.